concept has many, many different knives ranging from all different prices for any budget. They also have many different variations of the same model. You can find them at Blade HQ, Knife Center, and I'm sure you can find them at other knife places as well. Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is busy. And in this video, we are doing a first impressions on these two Concept Knives. Concept did send these to me. These are only the first impressions. This is not the review. So I do have reviews coming on other models as well. So I want to thank Concept because they were paying attention to my last video. And... I, that's amazing. That means that they actually care about the the reviews and the community, and that that's that's awesome to me, because a knife company that pays attention to the people that buy their knives and the people that review their knives is it means that they actually care about their product, and I, I'm I'm very happy to see that. So thank you, Concept, and this is the Excipiter. You can see the name right there, Excipiter, an S35 VN blade steel, titanium, and green micarta. Now, they also have this in other versions, so this is not the only version. I just want to say that right now, there are other versions of this. And then this is the Helix. We'll get into this in just one second. So first up, well done. This thing is very very well done. Everything, it, it feels like an expensive knife. Now, when I first seen these, I... Uh, you know, I, I seen them, other reviewers doing them, and I wanted to check them out. But I also seen them and it was like, it's another knife, right? This does have a very just plain knife look. And it took to really get it in hand to really feel and understand what these guys are doing right. There are so many things done very nicely on this. It is very much, um, you, you can feel a high-end knife on this model. I mean, it's... The smoothness and the it's a very very not just smooth but a consistent smoothness that I really like the detent is well tuned crown spine on the on the blade the geometry is pretty decent um, definitely going to be a decent slicer the ur goes on it. It doesn't force you into any position, but it's super comfortable in the hand. Very, very nice in the hand. I can't wait. I did cut with these already, just so you know. As soon as I unboxed them, I wanted to see how do they cut. They cut great. I'll talk about that more in the review and show it, but very, very nice in the hand. There is one little thing that I think might be a problem. I don't know yet. We'll see in the future. I'll talk about it in this video, but I haven't checked yet. But anyways, the lock bar access is very, very nice. The top flipping action is super easy. And then right here, if you're scared to let it drop to your nail like that, because I tend to just let it drop right to my nail and it hits my nail, but you don't have to let that happen because they put the detent in a good spot on this and you can just hold it up high and let that the, the first part right there hit you in the finger and it's already past the detent. The detent ball is very early right there. So it's well before the spot where it hits your finger. So it has a very safe way to unlock and close it up. The detent on it for opening is well done. I mean, it's very easy to deploy. The jimping is done very nicely. It's nice and sharp, but not, not overly sharp. It's just Great, great way. Uh, you won't once you flip it a couple times, you won't miss a flip. It's very easy to to deploy. Um, because it's a front flipper, it doesn't have the flipper tab hanging up right here, so you can take advantage of that spot and really choke up. I like that. I like getting nice and close to the blade when I can or when I need to, I should say. It is internal stop pins. So that's going to help add to the, the stability and the strength of the knife. Everything is just well chamfered and well well done. This micarta, I do think this is a, an improvement over the other micarta that I've seen. Um, this is decent micarta. You can see it's going to absorb very nicely um, the oils. 
and you can see it has a, um, a very furry texture, or not of a very furry, it has a furry texture, I'm not going to say very, but it's, um, it's very nice, nice and warm and comfortable in the hand, they do not have an inlay on this side, and I know some people have a problem with that, I'm not that big, it's not that big of a deal to me, but you know, it would have been cool to see another inlay on this side, but in all reality, that's not, that doesn't bother me, I know some people it does, me, I don't care. Um, now the one issue that I think might become a problem and I don't know yet, like I said, this could be the best thing ever. I don't know yet. I have not tried it in the pocket yet, but the clip possibly looks like it might be like hitting a wall. I'm not sure yet. We will see in the review, but it looks like it might be an issue. I don't know yet. So do not quote me. We will see, but well done. This thing, this thing definitely feels like a quality knife and I can't wait to really get to test it out. There's also something else I want to show here that's really awesome to see from them. Do you guys see it? See that blue? That means they're using blue Loctite. What does that say to me? That says the concept wants us to be able to maintain our tools. Thank you, concept. Because when a knife company puts red Loctite on their knives, to me, that just says that they don't want you to maintain your tools. Because that makes you strip out screws. It makes it horrible to take apart. And it's ridiculous. And the fact that they're using blue Loctite means that they want you to be able to maintain your tools appropriately and easily. Thank you very much because that still locks the screw and stops it from being able to back out, but it makes it for when you do need to maintain your tool, you can easily do it without stripping out screws. So thank you concept for that. Let's get to the, the helix. So this is the titanium helix. There also is a budget version of this in D2, steel, and G10. This one's all titanium and S35VN. And it's a bruiser this thing is a big knife and i like it it's definitely it feels very good in the hand especially in this choked up position these chamfers right here if you really look it's angled right here which really fits right here in your hand real nicely when you do choke up your, your hands just feel really comfortable wrapping around right there and it feels good uh, the thickness right here is not overly thick and it's kind of thin to be honest, but it's a perfect thickness where it's not too thin, not too thick, feels really good in the hand. Um, it has a nice taper from thick to thinner, just like a hand does, where it's bigger here and smaller here. So that's really nice. Jimping is done very well. Now let's talk about this action because you see the pivot. Now knife uh, makers try to center the pivot or sorry, the flipper tab with the center of the pivot. Let me show you a Hinder XM18 three inch. Now, if you look at this, this flipper tab, you see how it lines up or you see how the flipper tab kind of pokes upward a little bit. It's because they wanted to put this poked up part center with the middle of the, the pivot, which makes you have great leverage when the detent is finely tuned. If they put it lower, then they have to make the detent stronger. And sometimes it you just don't get the right amount of leverage. By making it center, it makes you have a good amount of leverage. Here, they put, they put it very high, which means you have a massive amount of leverage on this flipper tab. And it really flies out. There's... So much leverage behind there, and I, I very much enjoy flipping this. It really bangs out. And then the drop, the um, the detent, again, is nice and early. I love seeing that, which means when you unlock it, it hits your finger, and it's already past the detent. So now all you got to do is get your finger out of the way, and this thing is very false shutty. There's no resistance. It just falls. Very nice. So the action on this thing is very, very smooth. I can actually reverse flick this by using the side of my finger. Um, it is a, a big knife, but look at this clip. The clip is super deep carry. Lots of spring, so I do like to see that. Plenty of spring on the clip because when they do the titanium ball thing, the worst thing is when they're short and stumpy, you want them to have some spring to it. So that feels like it's going to be a great clip. You see the jimping back here that really, you know, locks into your hand when you flip it. 
Very, very cool. Now, this one's a Tonto, too, but it's kind of like a drop point in the same time. Yes, it has a secondary tip here, but in all reality, it's going to cut like a drop point. So you kind of get the best of both worlds, where you can cut with it just like a drop point, but yet, if you want to, say, open up packages and use this secondary tip, you can... And the benefit to that is that if you're opening up a package and there's something in there you don't want to damage or maybe you don't want your edge to go too far deep, you can use this secondary tip and just go right across it, open up the package, and you won't have an issue with damaging anything on the inside because only a little tiny bit of the edge goes in and it basically keeps, it makes it where you can open up the, the packages without, you know, putting your blade too far deep in there. So that's really cool. Um, now, it's not as pronounced as a lot of Tontos, but it still gives you that secondary edge. So we'll test it out and see how it works. Um, it looks like I can get some good, you know, scraping if I needed to with this blade. It is rounded, more like a Japanese Tonto, but um, great, great profile. I like that I'll be able to use it like a drop point in the same breath. So... You see Concept logo there, T8s all the way around on this one, which is really nice. And the hidden screw from the inside that you see right there for the clip. At least that's what it looks like. Yep. And I like that they use two screws there too. Very, very nice. Well done, Concept. So we will see here coming forward um, how these test, how these sharpen, how these cut. Watch out for the review. And um, these both run right under $200. And here's the packaging. So they come with a nice little pouch. And then the box comes with a nice cloth on the inside. Very nice box. Just closes right up. Very, very nice. Love the packaging the Cancept has. This goes inside the box. So very, very nice. Um, I can't wait to bring this review to you guys. Um, thank you, Concept, for paying attention to the channels and all the reviewers and for sending these out to me. And thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Peace.